Hey YouTubers and ARK survival enthusiasts. Today we're here with Exodus, the creator of that awesome mod, Baby Dinos. How you doing today, Exodus? I'm good. How are you? Hey, I'm just delightful. Hey, um, there's been a lot of confusion about um, this DNA sequencer, and I wonder if you would run it through for me and uh, give me some idea of how to use it. And first of all, let's talk about what is a DNA sequencer? The DNA sequencer is a machine that I built that allows you to have the ability to clone creatures that do not currently lay eggs in the game. Well, what do you need to build a DNA sequencer? Well, first, to be able to build a DNA sequencer, you have to go into your inventory and learn the engram. The engram will be near the bottom of the list where all the mods should be. So here you will see a DNA sequencer. To learn the DNA sequencer in Graham, first you must learn the construction table. The construction table I built is a place for you to construct the items that are in the Baby Dinos mod. So first you need to learn the construction table in Graham. So I'll learn that, and then you can learn the DNA sequencer in Graham. Then you will have to craft a construction table. I already have a construction table in my inventory, so I will just place it down. The construction table needs to be put on a foundation, so I'll put it on this wood foundation. <clears throat> and here, you'll find the DNA sequencer engram that you've learned. To construct the DNA sequencer, you need to have 30 metal ingot, 20 cementing paste, 15 electronics, and 5 crystals. So, I have a DNA sequencer already in my inventory, so I will place that down. You can place the DNA sequencer anywhere you would like. So I'll place it right here. What if you put it inside a building? Well, the DNA sequencer, since some big dinos may come out, it's not really recommended that you put it inside a building unless you have enough space. Because the largest animal currently that comes out is a mammoth, and baby mammoths are still quite large. So the DNA sequencer requires electricity. So to get electricity, you will need an electrical generator, an electrical outlet, and an electrical cable, which I have already added to my inventory. But for you, you would have to craft it. And then I will place it. Now to power the generator, you need to use gasoline. So once the generator is on, it is now powering the DNA sequencer. So you press E to turn it on, and if you hear that sound and see the monitor, you now know that your DNA sequencer has been set up correctly. So you can now press E to turn it off. Now to be able to clone dinos, you need to find their DNA. Now to get DNA, you need to harvest it from a body of a mammal of your choosing. For this example, I'll show you a saber tooth. So I have this little, uh, cute little saber tooth over here. He's my friend, you know. I'll call him Fred, because why not? So I'll just uh, use a little dynamite, and we'll blow him up. Maybe. There we go. And I'll harvest his body. You're not going to get it every time? No, so you have a chance of getting DNA, but you are not guaranteed to get it every time. So I will spawn in another saber tooth. Since I don't have him tamed, he's going to try to kill me. But that's okay, I have a little dynamite here. And then I'll harvest his body. So now you can see that it added saber tooth DNA. So once you finally get DNA of your choosing, you can go you can go up to the DNA sequencer. You can turn it back on. You can hold E to access its inventory. Place the Sabertooth DNA inside the DNA sequencer. And after a short period of time, usually between 2 and 30 minutes depending on what type of dinosaur or creature it is, a baby version of it will spawn. So I'll speed up time here to keep you guys from waiting. 
So now after a period of time has passed, a baby saber tooth has spawned. Look at him. Oh my god, look at him. So that's basically how a DNA sequencer works. And this works for all the mammals and a few other land creatures that do not lay eggs. How long is it going to take him to grow? I can see him growing right now. For him, it will take a few hours real time. Okay, well, I hope that answers any questions uh, you might have about using the DNA sequencer. And until next time, goodbye. Goodbye.